Yo guys, Insane Gamer 52 here, and today I'm going to show you how to easily kill the Butcher in the haunting event in Warzone and DMZ. Alright, so the Butcher is potentially the toughest of the bosses added with the event, and can be found in Zarqua Hydroelectric, Almazra City, Zaya Observatory, or Al Samad Cemetery. When you get to his location, you will see five giant pillars forming the Altar of Lilith. What you have to do is go up to each of these five pillars and interact with them to start rituals. Each ritual will take 25 seconds and cause a bunch of zombies to spawn around the area. During this time, you don't have to stay on the altar, but if you go too far away, it will reset your progress for that ritual when you come back. After each ritual that you complete, the activated pillar will shoot a red beam into the sky, which makes it very obvious that you're there. When you finish all five rituals, a nightmare portal will spawn in the middle of the altar. Going through it will teleport you to a special arena where you get to fight the butcher. He takes an enormous amount of damage to kill, and is the only boss in the game to actually get his own health bar. Unfortunately, you can't use killstreaks in here, so I recommend bringing in a KV broadside or other shotgun if possible. The Butcher's main attack is just chasing you around and swinging his cleaver at you. It deals a decent amount of damage, but the more dangerous thing is that it stuns you for a second, which makes it a lot easier to get hit by the zombies all around the arena. Speaking of the zombies, they took a page out of Cold War's book and will often throw their entrails at you and deal a good bit of damage. I suggest taking a couple seconds to thin out the horde every once in a while to make it easier for your team to heal and armor up. When you get the butcher down to the two triangles that you see on his health bar, he will smash the ground and deal damage to everything in the area. It's not a particularly devastating attack, but it is something to watch out for since you do know when it will be coming. When you deal enough damage to kill the Butcher, he will drop some souls, his cleaver worth $66,600, some killstreaks, and some other valuable loot. These bosses take quite a bit of teamwork to kill, so if you want help finding competent teammates, then you can join my Discord link in the description below. If you found this guide helpful, let me know by dropping a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe for more in-depth guides in the future.